Hi friends, welcome to our Linux tutorials. In this video, we will be looking at some of the folder handling or the directory handling commands in Linux. So first of all, let me make you familiar with the directory structure in the Linux environment. In your uh, Windows environment, you had C drive, E drive. But over here, you will not have drives like that but when you go to my your computer you will see a forward slash this means the root the directory structure in linux begins from root so this forward slash means root so once you go over there you have different folders you have bin boot cd rom dev media lib home etc mnt or these all are different directories in which different uh, stuffs are stored just like your uh, windows computer but uh, if you see uh, you have a usr or user directory over here according to your windows uh, operating system the users are stored in this directory but in linux the users are stored in the home directory so if i go to home directory you i can see the user gibran over here so if i open up that I can see my desktop, my documents, my downloads folder and all the different folders. So this is the actual uh, tree diagram or the actual look of the directory structure in Linux. But uh, we will not be using this uh, graphical interface. We will be going with the command line. So first of all, we will see where are we currently. So to check where at which location we are currently working, you have to type pwd, which uh, means present working directory. If I hit enter, it says home slash gibran. It means I am in <coughs> home slash gibran directory. And uh, if I say ls, it will give the list of folders in my gibran folder. So uh, as you can see, I have desktop, I have downloads, I have music, these folders we just uh, saw. So now I would like to move to my desktop folder. So I will say desk and then and, and hit tab. So it will auto complete it for me. And now we are in the desktop directory. Now if I say pwd, it says home slash gibran slash desktop. And now if I say ls, it will say uh, there are no files since we have no files on the desktop. But we can make one directory. So to make one directory, you have mkdir and we will make uh, now next argument will be the name of the directory. We will give it as name as test. If I hit enter, a directory named test will be created on the desktop as you can see over here. And we can move uh, inside this directory. We can say cd test. Now we are inside this directory and if I say ls, there are no files so if i open it you can see there are no files in the test directory now when i want to now right now my present working directory is a test which is on the desktop but we will not be doing everything in this directory we would like to come out of this directory also so to come out of directory you have to type cd space dot dot this will take you one step up which means now we came out of the test and now we are in the desktop directory you can see we are now in the desktop directory if you say cd space dot dot forward slash space dot dot it will take you two spaces uh, two places up if you now say pwd it came back to home slash jibra and uh, Suppose if you again want to go to a directory, you can type cd desktop sorry, you can say cd desktop and in desktop I have test folder, you can go directly to the test folder like this. If you say cd, just cd, it will take you to root directory directly. So, if you want to delete one directory, let me just go back to 
test folder and uh, right we are on the desktop right now you can see we are on the desktop and now if i want to delete the test directory i can say rmdir test now it will delete my test directory now if you say ls list commands it is not going to display anything if i again make a directory with the name test and then if i say ls it is going to give me the name of the directory ls so this is how you can create and remove directory and move in the uh, tree of windows or linux operating system in the next video we will be looking at some of the uh, file handling commands in linux so till then hope you liked it and thanks for watching